course it was fascinating i did love the title i did love my job it was a great corporate career that i had how you are able to add value to the lives of people or to businesses or whatever that you are passionate about you know said that it has a lot of takeaways which you can actually action on it and i've also shared a lot of templates here One of my earlier bosses at the start of my career wanted me to specialize in IFRS which is the International Financial Reporting Standards uh, but somehow I didn't have my heart set on it and therefore I didn't get too deep into it so I think that was something maybe well left So like you exactly said and like how Simon Sneek says and even Robin Sharma says you know the title is just a designation nothing more than that of course it was fascinating i did love the title i did love my job it was a great corporate career that i had but after a point in time i realized you know i started introspecting and asking myself what is my purpose what is it that i want to achieve and then i realized i want to add a lot of value and like i said it's not just to one organization but i said how can i go and touch more people more lives and thereby impact the business is to grow as well so that's what triggered about this change and i feel it's something every individual you know there's a saying that you know everyone needs a coach including me so we're all no different we're all human if you want to get better i think it's important that each of us realize that we have so much potential and to get better everybody needs to work with a coach so it like i said it aligned well with my values and that's what got me to this journey well family is always different right <laughs> you need to wear the mother's hat when it's required <laughs> firstly understand what is it that you want right uh, what is it that you would like to achieve what would give you a lot of satisfaction and happiness so check that that would be the first check box i would suggest second is you need to be financially prepared you know just because you like something you're passionate about something you can't just go ahead and take a a leap of faith because setting up something and starting from scratch is not easy and therefore be prepared from both a mental perspective as well as a financial perspective set the base for it ensure you have sufficient savings so that even if things don't go off too well you are able to sustain the similar lifestyle that you've been able to so right so check those things and lastly what i would have to say is see what is giving you a lot of satisfaction and happiness and how you are able to add value to the lives of people or to businesses or whatever that you are passionate about and i think once when all these three are in sync it makes a whole lot of difference right my first book is actually a spiritual thriller uh, it's a fiction it's called a glance of the unknown it talks about the cause and effect theory a lot of people have resonated a lot with it and told me that you know how right and they were able to see how the karma plays a an important aspect in everybody's life my second book is called uh, what the finance so that like you know you know it's been one of the best sellers and this is made finance very easy and simple for people who don't understand finance so this is no gyan in it but then you know if this is your problem this is your solution so made it very very simple and what people really seem to like especially about this is managing their cash and the financial management part of it because like we know the top line is vanity the bottom line is sanctity and cash is the reality so that way this has been very helpful it also has some stories of some very successful entrepreneurs who have uh, through their financial journey and their learnings that has been shared my next book is called uh, get high this is called how to coach yourself for high performance in the work that you do so this book has been endorsed by coach uh, dr marshall goldsmith who is a new york times best seller So this talks about a lot of uh, tips and tricks and then it has a lot of templates that one can follow and get better at whatever they do it's an activity based book and my latest book is called where's the moola moola like we know is money so this talks about financial growth hacking for business profitability so this book is based on the business wheel where how each different function of the business can actually contribute to better business profitability and growth and this as well a lot of people have 
you know, said that it has a lot of takeaways which they can actually action on it. And I've also shared a lot of templates here, which businesses can start to utilize and see how they can grow their business further.